Lineker has been called out by a BBC colleague over a political tweet. <laughs> Lineker tweeted, As a politician, how could you ever, under any circumstances, bring yourself to vote for pumping sewage into our seas? Unfathomable. BBC journalist Neil Henderson suggested that the tweet broke impartiality rules. You know Neil Henderson, he's the guy who does tomorrow's papers today. He's that guy. Anyway, the BBC lives or dies by its impartiality, he said. If you can't abide it, get off it. So, I'm asking, should he be allowed to give his views online? Joining me is former BBC correspondent Martin Bell. Martin, thank you very, very much. Are we ever going to get an end to Gary Lineker lecturing us from his multi-million pound house? I was going to have a go at the colour of his, uh, his, his rather nice town, although to be fair, I've just been away, so I think that'll be a little bit hypocritical of me at the moment. But he does like to go on a bit, doesn't he? Should he just shut up and go away? Uh, I think he's uh, probably the premier football commentator practising that trade. He knows his business and he's worth listening to on football. He doesn't broadcast his other opinions. If he wants to have them, I think he should be free to have them. But if he worked for news or current affairs, I think it would be different. Mm. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I think he's a little bit of a national treasure, if I may say so, like Christine Hamilton. Oh, well, there you go, fantastic. But, but can I just ask you, I mean, look, there are impartiality rules at the BBC, and we've seen loads of things recently. Emily Maitlis quite recently came out and appeared to suggest that the BBC had been kind of infiltrated by the Conservative Party, which I find amazing when you look at some of their outputs. I'm not quite sure what version of the Conservative Party that is. The left-wing bias at the BBC, in my opinion, is clear for all to see. And then you've got the likes of Gary Lineker going on Twitter. I mean, he might as well just... In fact, he probably has at some point draped himself in the EU flag, really. But should he be allowed to do this stuff? Uh, Patrick, you uh, work for an opinion channel. And yes, now you're lecturing us on having opinions. I never expressed an opinion in 34 years of reporting mostly wars. In news, the, the rules are very tight, and I'll never tire of saying this. I don't expect you to agree with me, but we're lucky to have the BBC, and it is admired throughout the world, except, of course, within the walls of GB News. No, I, I think it's. I think the BBC is an interesting institution. I think it does a lot of good, don't get me wrong, but there are rules, and is Gary Lineker breaking those rules? Uh, he's not using BBC broadcasts to deliver his political ideas. I think that that's twittering and uh, and tweeting. The rules are very tight. Uh, I followed them. They should be tight uh, because if you lose your reputation for impartiality, then you've lost the trust of the viewers, not just at home, but all over the world. Uh, I think he's, he does a brilliant job uh, commenting on the football, and I, I'm very happy for him to go on doing it. And if he wants to express his opinions in other fora, well, let him do so, but not in the, on the wavelengths for the BBC. Just very lastly, do you think the BBC has a problem with left-wing bias? No, I do not, and it never has. Seriously? Is that genuinely? Yeah? You don't, you don't think that's... I mean, I did work experience at the BBC and the bloke who was uh, my essential chaperone had a copy of the Communist Manifesto on his desk. Uh, Patrick, as I told you, I was... I was I worked for them for 33 years. And, of course, individual journalists had individual biases, left, right, or centre. Uh, but I was never under pressure to, to, to adopt a left-wing stance or a right-wing stance. I can only deliver to you what I know from my own heart and my own experience that it is, so far as is possible, an impartial organisation presenting the news impartially.